forecast, where you think it's going, and whether you think there's a point at which the Fed would potentially blink? I think that they're going to reiterate the message that Paul gave in his Jackson Hole remarks. Unconditional support to getting inflation back down to 2 percent will have to drive up the unemployment rate, uh, and it's going to, they're going to have to slow down the economy. The last summary of economic projections that we got to, in June were very optimistic about the lack of pain involved. The Fed tightens a little bit, the unemployment rate goes up slightly, inflation melts away back towards 2 percent. This time, I think they're going to have to show a uh, much higher rate trajectory, higher for longer, uh, rise in the unemployment rate, a meaningful rise in the unemployment rate, um, and inflation coming down, but taking longer uh, to achieve their objectives. So I'm hoping for more realism in their forecast. The Powell speech at Jackson Hole was the first step. What they write down in their summary of economic projections day is an important second step. So just to read through on that, if Jay Powell is channeling the, channeling the ghost of Paul Volcker, and if we're dealing with inflation that's the highest it's been in four decades, then is it safe to say that a recession, especially if inflation is still elevated, wouldn't necessarily be enough, at least at the onset, to have the Fed change course here but continue to tighten? Well, the Fed's not going to show a recession in their forecast. That's just not what central banks do. But a recession is highly likely. Uh, the, the Fed has made it very clear that the labor market is actually too tight to be consistent with 2 percent inflation. And we can see that in terms of the trajectory of wages. Wages are rising 5, 6, maybe even 7 percent if you look at the Atlanta Fed wage tracker. That's not consistent with 2 percent inflation. So the Federal Reserve has to push the unemployment rate up sufficiently to bring down wage inflation, be consistent with 2 percent inflation. And the reality is every time the Fed's pushed the unemployment rate up by more than a half a percent historically, the U.S. has ended in a full-blown recession. This time, it's not likely to be any different. Paul will be asked about that. The Fed, he'll talk about how they're going to try for a soft landing. Of course, that's what they have to say. But the reality is a soft landing is very unlikely in the, given the current set of circumstances. So based on your calculations and given the fact that the employment market, the unemployment market is still so tight, the labor market is still so tight, how much more could we see the Fed inflict in terms of those tightening gauges, those levers that it, it has at its disposal for that to actually change in a meaningful way? Well, I think they're going to write down something pretty close to what the market's already got priced in. The market repriced okay. dramatically to Powell's speech. So now we're, as Steve said, we are at, we're at peak of, for the funds rate now is expected to be around 4.5%. I would expect the Fed to write down something pretty close to that in their summary of economic projections. The second thing they're going to do, though, is show that the rates are going to stay higher for longer. So it's not just we're going to this peak and we're going to be there for a couple months. We're probably going to be there for perhaps as long as a year or more. It takes time for monetary policy, tight monetary policy, to slow down the economy. It takes time for the persistent inflation pressure we see today to subside. So, uh, you know, it's not just that rates are going to go higher. They're going to stay higher for longer. And that's really what the markets are starting to uh, reprice to. Uh, Bill, you know, it's interesting you're not just joining us on a day. Obviously, we're going to hear from the Fed, but also we've got all these bank CEOs in front of Congress right now. And, I, you know, you were one of the main regulators of the banks, obviously, uh, running the New York Fed for all those years. You know, I'm curious, as we enter a period of e economic weakness, it seems, um, you know, the liquidity and capital standards that were put in place after the Great Recession and after the financial crisis, how are you feeling about where things stand when it comes to the big banks as we take a look at Mr. Diamond right there on the screen? I'm not worried about the stability of the U.S. banking system, uh, the, the increase in liquidity requirements, capital requirements, stress testing, all mean that the U.S. banking system could take a long and deep recession. And that's not what I expect. I expect a recession, but I don't think it's going to be long and deep. And so I think the U.S. banking system is in very, very good shape. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.